It seems to be that time of year again. A time for friendly competition, rewards, and crushing defeat. So in honor of valiant musings, a show of good faith, and the provings of the small men, which is kind of ironic, let us prepare the dish of Empress Keitel and her people, Triptakata Tendinum. Under Cryptarchy Analysis Log 11320, Stolen Cabal Data, Rahul writes, blah blah blah, solvent. This is our solvent. It'll help soften up our meat. Notice the bowl, very not metal. This is beef tendon. Is this atolotl tendons? No, this is not actually atolotl tendons. But this is a hammer. The goal here is to make them pliable. Let this soak an hour. In the meantime, the cubes. You'll need some citrus, so I'm using some oranges. Why? Because they're simple. You'll want to chop and peel the oranges and take out any seeds. Then get an orange squeezer or your hands and just drain the mess out of those oranges. When you're done, you'll be left with a nice amount of orange juice. You won't need it, but you know, now you have some orange juice. What we do need is the pulp. Give yourself a nice cheesecloth, or in this case, a shirt, and give it a nice squeeze. That is not good. You know, interesting thing about food coloring, red, blue, and yellow make black. You know, I'm not, I'm just saying. Now, I don't have any cabal doohickeys, so we're going to be taking some humanistic liberties with this. A terrible mistake has been made here. Please do not use butter, use parchment paper or something. I don't know, I'm not a chef. Just don't use butter. Pour in the sugars, the water, and the corn syrup and stir on a mid-high heat, really making sure to dissolve that sugar. You want the temperature to be between 270 and 290 degrees Fahrenheit, the soft crack stage. Now fill up the tray with about half of the liquid and add our layer of orange goop. Now I quickly realized that the amount of cube I made was not enough. This is not exactly going as planned, but in the words of the great Lord Saladin Forge, defeat only stops you if you let it. Again, there's a lot of stuff going on in this recipe. They're talking about hooks and rocks and slaps. Here's what I'm gonna do. Easy. We're gonna cut these bad boys into tetrahedrons, or in normal people's terms, and as far as I'm concerned, somewhat triangles. In a large cauldron, add water, Chirac oil, and appropriate root mixture. Here's the thing, I don't have that oil, and I don't have that root mixture, so we're gonna make our own. For the root mix, you'll need some carrots, two heads of garlic, some ginger, and some sweet potatoes. I'm specific about the garlic because I like garlic. Prepare the mix by chopping, grating, and peeling the roots. Now the recipe calls for washing the tendon in ocean water, but I don't have an ocean, so we're just using salt water. When you're done washing, cut into strips. As you can see, I was having some trouble cutting the tendons, so I decided that they were cut into strips already. Add the meats. You can see that I added a little bit of salt. Hey guys, so we fixed it now, but um, you don't need that many of the roots. Fill your pot with water just enough to cover everything. Now we're gonna go through a boil cycle. Start out high, then you're gonna bring that to a boil. Then you're gonna drop down to medium, you're gonna bring that to a boil. Then you're gonna drop it down to a simmer. You're just gonna leave it there. 
Now just wait for three hours or until scum stops floating and there's a nice brownish sheen on top. In the meantime, you may notice that we're not only leaving out the oil, but also adding everything at once. The original recipe says to add the root mix first, then boil, and then add the meats on top. To me, that seems kind of redundant. However, we will still be using flavored oil. You need lemon peel, black peppercorns, and some fresh basil. You can see mine is not that fresh anymore. And of course, you know, oil. Now peel the lemon. You don't need that much lemon peel. I'm just going for three. Take a neutral oil and heat it to about 145 degrees Celsius. While that's heating, you're also heating your peppercorn. Do that for about two minutes, then take it off the heat and crush them with about 900 pounds of force. So add in your lemon peel and let that emanate for around 30 seconds. Then add the pepper and cook for another 30 seconds. Making sure the fire's off, add in the basil and give it a stir. The water in the basil is going to react a little bit. Just be careful and you'll be fine. Probably. Now you're just going to let this sit and cool while we wait for the rest of our broth. Now we're going to add some salt to taste. You might need to add a lot of that. Would you look at that? Now I actually let this cook for a lot longer, probably like 10 hours, and you can see the tendon is a lot more jiggly here. Coming back to our cube loaf, it's ready to be sliced. First, drain the excess water from the oranges, but save it because we're not wasteful. Then flip your loaf. But ah, what is this? Yet another stumbling block put before our path. But because of perseverance and clever insight, we fought and prevailed. Now at first glance, it may seem that we have made an atrocity, but I assure you it is but a humble cabal dish. I mean, I'd imagine cabal eating this. But the loaf must still be cut. We attempt cutting our loaf, but to no avail. This is obviously a job for hands. I think it's safe to say this is a thick slice. Now, let us consume. So here it is, uh, Chipricata Tendinum. Um, I kinda just made that name up. Let us consume. That is, that is lower class. This is a cabal dish, all right? So it doesn't have to taste good to me. You know, I could see myself eating this as a, as a legionary. This, right here. It's not really working for me. Right here, you eat that, and you're like, oh, that's not terrible. It's like, it's almost good, but then it's not. I think at the end of the day, as the Cabal always say, it's not about winning, it's about trying to win by fighting, I think. I don't think that has anything to do with food.